Hi, everybody. Sam here. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at in the world today. I am so excited to be here with Anissa today. She is the founder of the Mompreneur Studio, and uh, we've been having a nice chat. We have found that we're kindred spirits of being creative and love that God made us that way. And um, I'm excited for her to be able to share with you. If you're new to Safe Heart Connections, we're glad you're here. If you're back again, so glad you came back. If you're not sure what Safe Heart Connections is, we are an online community group of women that ha are working on learning to love ourselves more fully. And by default, it improves our life and we get to make connections in the community along the way. So we're really glad you're here. And Anissa, I'm excited to hear what you have to share with our community today. Take it away. Sam, I am super excited to be here. Thank you so much for this opportunity and taking the time to chat with me today. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm Anissa. I am the founder of my Mompreneur Studio. I started my journey into entrepreneurship back in 2020 during the onset of the global pandemic when my twins were born. I thought I was going to have all this help and then overnight none of my family or friends wanted to even come inside my house for fear of infecting the babies. And at that time, we lived in New Jersey and my husband was an essential worker, so he didn't even get to use his paternity leave because he was called to come into work. And I was all alone with these two newborns feeling very uneasy, very frightened because no one knew what to expect at that time. So I had to get pretty resilient pretty quickly. And it got my wheels turning. I decided to teach myself some online skills so that I can bring in revenue because basically I knew that nobody could provide for my family except for me. So I taught myself all the things. I taught myself how to start a business, front and back end tasks, and there are definitely a lot but it's totally doable if you are passionate and driven like I am. And I do highly recommend it if it's a dream of yours. What I don't recommend is doing it self-taught the way I did. If I could go back and do it all over again, I would have definitely hired a coach and taken advantage of some mentorship. That's part of my journey. Like that, that made me who I am today. So it's also one of the reasons uh, why I help women now so that they can fast track their way to happiness and success. And some of the things I learned were multimedia marketing, social media tools, digital marketing, affiliate marketing, network marketing, referral marketing, attraction marketing, all the marketing. I created an online store to do drop shipping. I self-published a children's book on Amazon for my twins. And I did it all while raising my newborn twins. And we had dabbled a little bit in the real estate game with fix and flip and rental properties. And I just broadened my knowledge in that. And after a while, I guess a couple of years, it was 2022, the housing market just exploded. And my husband and I decided to make a big move to Florida. And we had always talked about moving to Florida, but we thought it was something that we would do in retirement, like in our golden years. But I'm the type of person where not only do I take advantage of opportunities, but I create opportunities. And I saw one, I said, let's just shoot our shot and go. And so we started a business down here. We did put a lot of focus into real estate and had a lot of success, but there was something missing for me, like something that I needed to satisfy because I have a mission and I'm very passionate about real estate because it's my humble opinion that it's the safest way to generational wealth. But that's more like a value added service that I'll offer clients while I'm fulfilling my real passion, which is just helping other women achieve their goals by finding and funding their missions. And shortly after moving to Florida, I was diagnosed with melanoma. So I had just moved to the Sunshine State and ironically was told to stay out of the sunshine. And I guess around that time, I had a spiritual awakening. And after having been in a in male-dominated industry for over 10 years, I woke up one day and I was like, I have to help women. So that's what I'm doing now. And I absolutely love every minute of it. And eventually I left my six figure corporate job so I could pursue my dreams. And I've never been happier. As I mentioned, my company is called my mompreneur studio. And you're probably wondering what exactly that is. And it's just like Sam said, what I, where I can do what God put me on the earth to do, which is create. So I create designs and products that I sell in my online store. I create opportunities for women through my mentorship program. I have a course that's accompanied by my coaching program and it's called Becoming Her, Unveiling Your True Self Aligned with Your Divine Purpose. And we just take a deep dive into what she really wants, what makes her happy and how she can set goals and then accomplish them to achieve that next level of peace. And 
a lot of women don't really know what makes them happy. They get sucked into this daily mundane grind and routine of wake up, go to work, pay bills, take care of the house, take care of the kids, and then do it all over again tomorrow. And they miss out on this whole world of beauty that's out there and, and what's really important. So I just love taking women through this transformation because it's a transformation that I took myself through. And there's just nothing like watching the rebirth, so to speak. And I'm also a founding member of WIN, which is the Women's Impact Network. It's an amazing community of entrepreneurial women that are at all different stages of their business growth and development. And we just empower and support each other's journeys and businesses. And it's just a really wonderful network of women who believe in collaboration over competition. And I'm also currently working on a huge project called Empower Her. It's a book series and docuseries that will be aired in 137 countries. So stay tuned for more on that because it is super exciting. And I'm also working on some other book projects as well, with She Rises Studios, because they are an awesome company to be partnered with, really aligned with a mission of my own with empowering women. And then I have a lot of women that will reach out to me and they'll say things like, I don't usually say anything, but I see you and you're an inspiration. And that is what drives me because... First of all, we all want to be seen and heard, but I just love inspiring people to become the best versions of themselves because it took a long time for me to become the best version of myself. And now I'm living my best and blessed life and I'm still on this journey. It's not a destination, but I just want to take a lot of women with me. And I know a lot of women who are working for a company or a boss that doesn't value them or doesn't pay them their worth or they can't speak on their ideas or thoughts because they're afraid of retaliation or whatever. I just want women to know that they have options and they don't ever have to compromise their integrity to collect a paycheck. And now more than ever, we just need to have multiple streams of income and create as much passive and residual income as we can, not only so that we can survive, but so that we can thrive. And this is a big part of what I teach women how to create for themselves and their families so that they don't have to trade their time for money. And so they can do the things that really make them happy. Once they figure it out, then we find out what their passion is, what their mission is, then I help them fund it. And ultimately, we all just want to be happy at the end of the day. I'm on a mission to help 1,000 moms become mompreneurs and truly happy by the year 2030. And I really just want to make this world a happier place one woman at a time. Yeah, that's really great. You said a lot of wonderful things that I am totally in agreement with. One of the biggest ones, though, is that we as women, we're so prone to doing. We have to go and do all the things we don't slow down long enough to know who we are, what we love. And so that's a big part of Safe Heart Connections, of learning to identify what self-love looks like to you. Because it's not the same for everybody. And I'm so happy that y'all got to call your shot and go to Florida before you had to wait. Why, why wait to live your best life 20, 30, 40 years from now? Go ahead and do it now. So... I am so glad that we got to chat today and I'll make sure that your information, depending on where they're, which platform people are watching this on, they'll have your information in different spots, but they will definitely know how to get connected with you. And I look forward to staying in touch. Sam, thank you so much. And if I could just share one more thing to leave your audience with, I am a firm believer that we create our destinies and our realities by our beliefs in ourselves. So no matter if you think you can or you think you cannot, you are correct. Mic drop. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. It is 100% true. So yeah, thank you for sharing that.